Today on Rappler. Claims for oil damages from empty Princess Empress may exceed the sunken tanker's insurance. House Speaker Martin Romualdez assigns himself as temporary caretaker of the 3rd District of Negros Oriental after the suspension of Arnie Tevez. The death toll from a Basilan passenger ferry fire continues to rise. A student of DLSU Dasmariñas is killed in her Cavite dorm. Papal Nuncio to the Philippines Archbishop Charles Brown asks Filipinos to pray for Pope Francis' recovery. Two Filipino restaurants make it to the Asia's 50 Best Restaurants for 2023 list. And Filipino-American actress Vanessa Hudgens is the Philippines' global tourism ambassador. The insurance coverage of the sunken empty Princess Empress oil tanker may not be enough due to the extensive damage from the Oriental Mindoro oil spill. The International Oil Pollution Compensation Fund, or IOPC, says even before the start of claims processing, compensation for victims of the oil spill is expected to exceed the civil liability cover of the insurer of empty Princess Empress. Disaster Management Agency NDRRMC reports at least 36,658 families in the Mimaropa, Western Visayas, and Calabarzon regions have been affected by the Oriental Mindoro oil spill. Victims of oil pollution in IOPC member states are entitled to compensation through the 1992 Civil Liability Convention and the International Oil Pollution Compensation Fund. Under the 1992 CLC, ship owners are held strictly liable for oil pollution damages up to a limit, which is based on the tonnage of their ship. But when civil claims exceed the amount for which a ship owner is liable, more funds can be drummed up from the 1992 fund. House Speaker Martin Romualdez assigns himself as temporary caretaker of the 3rd District of Negros Oriental after the chamber suspended Representative Arnie Tevis Jr. for 60 days. The memo was made public a week after the House sanctioned Tevis over disorderly behavior when he stayed abroad with an expired travel clearance and defied orders to return home and perform his congressional duties. Suspension is the second highest form of penalty for errant House members. Due to the penalty, Tevis is denied pay, office space, and other privileges a House lawmaker is entitled to. Tevis has been mired in a string of controversies, including the killing of Negros Oriental Governor Roel de Gamo. President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. and Romualdez earlier appealed to him to return to the country and face the accusations against him, assuring him of his safety once he comes home. Search and rescue workers find more bodies in an ill-fated passenger ferry, which caught fire past 11 p.m. on Wednesday, March 29, in the waters of Balukbaluk Island, Haji Mutamad, in Basilan. Basilan Governor Jim Hataman Saliman says the workers count at least 31 bodies, including 18 remains found in MV Lady Mary Joy 3 as of 3 p.m. on Thursday, March 30. In a statement, Basilan Representative Mojiv Hataman says more than 30 people died. In an interview with DZMM, Southern Mindanao Coast Guard Chief Richard Marfe says the fire started in air-conditioned cabins. The Provincial Disaster Risk Reduction Management Office says the ferry was bound for Holo Sulu from Zamboanga City with 230 passengers. The Philippine Coast Guard says it will help investigate and check for any signs of an oil spill. A 24-year-old graduating student is robbed and killed by an unidentified assailant in her dormitory in Dasmariñas, Cavite. Authorities identify the victim as Queen Lian Daguinsin, a computer science student of De La Salle University Dasmariñas and a native of Pila, Laguna. The Cavite police chief says the landlady of Rolisa dormitory ordered her caretaker to force open the student's room as her room was double-locked. The autopsy report says the Guincin died of multiple stab wounds, one in the neck, nine in the body, and four more in the left wrist and arm. Authorities say CCTV footage shows the suspect was able to get on the rooftop of the adjacent dorm around 1 a.m., then moved to the second floor and entered the window of the victim's room. He was seen leaving the building, quote, as if nothing happened, and brought with him undetermined belongings of the victim. Governor John Vigremulia offered a 300,000 peso reward for information on the suspect. Vatican envoy to the Philippines, Archbishop Charles Brown asks Filipinos to pray for Pope Francis as he is hospitalized due to a respiratory infection. God willing, it's nothing too serious, but we need to pray for Pope Francis. The 86-year-old Francis was brought to the Hemeli Hospital in Rome on Wednesday, March 29, after he complained of breathing difficulties. Italian news agency ANSA says nursing staff are, quote, very optimistic the Pope could be discharged in time for Palm Sunday celebrations on April 2. 
Francis's health has attracted increased scrutiny in the last two years. He underwent colon surgery and began using a wheelchair or a walking stick due to chronic knee pain. His latest hospitalization revived speculation over a possible resignation on health grounds following the historic precedent of his late predecessor, Benedict XVI. Two homegrown Filipino fine dining gems land on the prestigious Asia's 50 Best Restaurants list for 2023. In 48th place is Metiz in Makati City. Metiz is hailed for highlighting vegetables, fermentation, and local ingredients in its tasting menu. This is Metiz's first time on the list. In 42nd place is Toyo Eatery at 94th place in 2022. Named the one to watch in 2018, Toyo Eatery also wins the Flor de Caña Sustainable Restaurant Award for 2023. In 2022, two other homegrown restaurants landed at 74th and 69th places, Antonio Stagaytay and Bonifacio Global City's Gallery by Chell. Hollywood actress Vanessa Hudgens is named a Global Tourism Ambassador for the Philippines. Malacanang awards the title to Vanessa on Thursday, March 30. The Filipino-American actress meets with President Ferdinand Marcos Jr., Tourism Secretary Cristina Garcia Frasco, and Presidential Advisor Paul Soriano. The title recognizes Vanessa's contributions to help promote the Philippines as one of the world's best tourism destinations. Vanessa is currently in the Philippines to shoot a travel documentary directed by Paul. The documentary will be shot in Palawan and Manila and will focus on the relationship between Vanessa, her sister Stella, and their Filipina mother, Gina. Vanessa is known for playing the lead role of Gabriela Montez in the hit film series, High School Musical. And that's today's wrap. I'm Nina Liu. Thank you for watching. Click the link below for the full story. Follow us on Rappler's YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok.